Drummers Against implied timekeeping. I'm going to do some rhythm and blues with my remote hi-hat. Now, I know most of you don't have a remote hi-hat. They're rarely used. But I can't think of anything better to kind of really show open-handed position playing, and especially with this rhythm and blues beat, uh, than having it. So watch what I'm doing with my hands while I'm moving them. That's the important thing. And uh, check it out. pull off and you do right left right with your bass pedal such as I do you have to move back and hit two uh, you saw you come around make sure you move your foot the other thing is if you were doing triplets move the foot do the figure and you can do that now the thing I wanted you to notice is I moved my hands over and was able to play a pattern and iterate with my left hand and this is the important thing. Now, you can always go back and compare it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you see, when you're able to do this, look at the change, the sound, the power. variables increase, there's much more drums happening, and the freedom to do sounds and move is there. So, I don't want you to get ahead of yourself, just get the basic rhythm together, always. Just learn that, alright? Now, if you have any questions on these things, feel free to contact me on twitter.com slash drummersagainst, facebook.com slash drummersagainstimplied, timekeeping, like me on that if you would. And I'm rdalbus57.wix.com uh, forward slash D-A-I-T-K, which is just a little of my background, who I am and what I'm trying to do. And uh, I have uh, a prototype of a t-shirt that I'm going to be selling. So let me know what you think of that. And for those of you, as I say, coming in for the first time, uh, a lot of these things are a progression to get to this point. So try to understand. I don't expect you to do something like this right away without understanding where it's come from and to learn from it. So uh, if you like what you're seeing, I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. Your subscriptions are your support for what I'm doing and what I'll continue to do in the future. So I appreciate that and click that on there. Subscribe. And for those of you who have stayed, um, thank you so much. I appreciate what you've done. Uh, your questions have been great. I am going to try to make them much more technically challenging. You seem to be up for that. And I appreciate that. It inspires me, and I think that the remote hi-hat clearly is something that you should get. Rather than get lots of cymbals, lots of toms, clearly I'm the th of the thinking that two hi-hats integrated is infinitely better because it allows you to open up places that you would normally not do and would think things. So rather than buying another expensive cymbal, I want you to think about the remote, all right? And uh, if you don't have the remote, just work on the floor tom, the bell of the cymbal, just to get the hand moving and integrate them just the way you see me here. All right, so my best to all of you. Hopefully you like this uh, spin on rhythm and blues, and uh, let me know how you're doing. Okay, good luck. Take care.